guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I just want to quickly do this video para um, makilala nyo lang ako ng medyo konti pa. Kasi, like what I said on my last video, I'm so touched yung mga na, nakikilala kong Pilipino online na they're so supportive at saka feeling ko na I want to introduce more myself to you para kilala nyo pa ako ng medyo okay. Kasi parang, as in, talagang natatouch ako sa mga Pilipinong na meet ko. They're so nice, tapos napaka-supportive, tapos napaka-encouraging lahat ng mga sinasabi nyo. So, I owe this to you, I owe this to you para lang malaman nyo kung um, a little bit more about me. So, let's get to it. So, I just want to do like a quick 10 things, random things about me. So, number one, I'm 34 years old. I was born on June 3rd, 1984. And I was born in Quezon City. Pero, I was raised in Palawan, in Puerto Princesa. Actually, nung, nung, pinap, nung lumalaki ako sa Palawan, I don't know, for anybody that's been in Puerto Princesa or Palawan, they'll probably will get a kick out of this. Kasi nung pinap, nung... Lumalaki ako sa Palawan, as in, yung ang liit pa, as in, lahat, na hindi naman lahat. <laughs> as in, kayo-kayo magkakilala, tapos isa lang yung road ng main highway, tapos konti lang yung hotels, tsaka yung resort, mabibilang mo lang sa isang kamay. Tapos ngayon, I was so shocked nung umuwi ako noong 2012, kasi it's like all resorts, tapos ang daming hotel, tapos ang dami-dami ng tao. So, it's like really booming right now. So, namimiss kim Palawan na talagang konti pa lang yung tao. Pero it's still good. It's good right now kasi yung tourism is really high at saka maraming nakaka-benefit na locals sa Puerto Princesa. Okay, number four. My hopes and dreams when I was a little girl was to become a flight steward. So, at a very young age, really, I wanted to travel a lot. Tapos yung pangarap ko maging flight stewardess kasi feeling ko. So, like, oh, flight stewardess, you can travel all over the world. Yun yung pangarap ko. Pero hindi natupad. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know what happened. I didn't really, like, go to school or really aim for it. Yun lang yung, you know, when you're a little girl, marami kang pangarap sa buhay. But that was my number one dream was to become a flight steward. Uh, number five, I went to college in Manila sa Adamson University and I took Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Tapos, I only had like one year left and I got the opportunity to come here in the U.S. So, I never graduated kasi I grabbed the opportunity to come here. So, syempre, I'm so glad I did kasi sabi nila, oh, just one more year, finish school before you come here. Pero my mindset was like, I don't know kung sa next year kung I will have the same opportunity as what I have now. So I took the chance and I'm so glad I did kasi I have a happy, beautiful family na pinaghirapan ko. At saka, I mean, hindi man ako gumaraduit ng college. It's okay because yung kapalit is something bigger. So, and I got married at 25 years old and... I became a mom at 34 years old. So, as in, naghintay kami ng 9 years before kami nagkanak. For all of you guys that's never been in my channel, I have a video in my channel about kung bakit ang tagal namin nagkanak. Number 7. I mean, number 8. I came here in America with, in 2006 with $20 in my pocket. So, I really came from nothing. I had $20 in my pocket, which was equivalent to 1,000 pesos sa atin. Kasi, um, I remember the night before, paalis, kinabukasan paalis na ako to come here. I was a no pair. Um, so, I have a sponsor family and everything. Pero, I only had $20 sa bulis ako kasi the night before, before ako pumunta dito, we really didn't have any money to convert from peso to US dollar. Wala na. As in, wala kami pera noong time na yun. So, binigyan lang ako ng ate ko ng 1,000 pesos para pumunta sa Western Union para ipakonvert yung 20, yung 1,000 pesos was converted to 20 dollars para lang may pocket money ako. As in, I will never forget that day. Pagpasok ko talaga ng, ng airport, I mean, pagpasok, pag, pag when I was getting interviewed sa immigration, Sabi sa akin, how much money do you have? Tapos yung pagsabi ko, I have $20 with me. Tumingin sa akin yung immigration officer na parang, Oh my God, what are you doing with $20? You're never gonna survive. Tapos luckily, kasi 
if you if you guys are aware immigration officers kahit pa kompleto ang papeles mo kahit pa marami kang i mean kahit pa talagang um tala, may visa ka of course you have to have a visa to enter pero kahit pa lahat planchado talaga ng papeles mo immigration officers have the right to turn you down to to say you have to go back home for whatever reason and they don't always have to say kung bakit so that day i never really realized how lucky i was up until later kasi Noon day na yon ko totoo sen pwede akong sabihin ng immigration officer na I'm sorry we can take you here we have to come back home. So, thank God na hindi nangyari sa akin yon. Um, number nine, I am currently a nurse here in the United States and I love my job. I work with the most incredible people. It's a hard job and you really have to separate your personal life sometimes and your professional life kasi it's so easy to get attached to people and then it's so easy to be depressed and to be sad when that person that you um, had a chance or got a chance to get to know dies the following day na papunta ka sa shift mo patay na pala yung inaalagaan mo so it's really you really have to be strong yet you really have to be soft it's the weirdest combination but i love my job and i'm very very thankful for the job i have right now and number 10 random fact is my favorite color is yellow so if you have any questions and anything you know you want to know about me gusto ko maging transparent i want to be transparent with you um about me i don't want to be my goal is to provide positivity and and helpful information para sa mga kababayan ko. So I really want to be transparent and I really want to be true as much as possible. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be so happy to answer them. At saka, again, I want to thank you sa support kahit I'm nobody, really I'm nobody. I don't have a big following sa Instagram or sa YouTube. But the very few people on YouTube that I have are so motivating and so encouraging. I just want to spread the positivity. I just want to spread yung, if you are dreaming for something like coming to the U.S., I just want to encourage you. I just want to make you feel and I just want to let you know that it's very possible. So I just want to provide that that positivity. Tsaka, gusto ko lang na rin iparamdam sa mga Pilipino na hindi lahat ng napupunta sa US is is maraming pera, kala nyo, kala nyo walang paghihirap, but I just wanna show like kung gaano talaga yung paghihirap ng mga Pilipino dito sa Amerika. Whatever we have is we really, really worked hard for. So, I just wanna provide education sa mga kababayan natin. And please feel free to always ask me anything and I'll always be happy and honest. I'll be always happy I'll always be happy to answer and I'll always be honest with you guys. So, thank you for watching. And before I go, I want to do shout outs. I can never say that word. Shout outs. Ano ba yan? Shout outs. Sa mga, mga nag-message sa akin na super sweet na mga Pilipina. For Aisa, Aisa Kabaka, Kabakang, Kabakang, Aisa Kabakang of Kapol Northern Samar. Hi Aisa, thank you for watching. Kay Kay Likayan ng Mindoro. Hi Kay, thank you for watching from Mindoro. At saka kay Cora J and she lives in Seattle. Hi Kababayan. Um hi Cora sa Seattle. Napakalamig ngayon sa Seattle. I mean here in Chicago it's really cold too, pero sa Seattle, oh my god. Kasi they're very close to Canada. So it's really cold. I mean we're close to Canada too, pero sa Seattle kasi it's always raining for some reason. Tsaka kay Cyril Therese Carula at Aga Carula ng Bulacan. Hoy Aga, lambingin mo naman si Cyril. Si Cyril. She is really sweet. I've talked to her quite a few times and she's, I could tell, I mean, I don't know her in person. Nakakausap ko lang siya sa Instagram. Pero she's really, she seems to be really, really, really sweet. So, Hoy Aga, magpakabait ka kay Cyril because she's really sweet. Napakaswerte mo kay Cyril. So, Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I'll be happy to answer them. At saka, if you want to be on my shout, out, shout, shout outs, 
please tell me and I'll be happy to mention you in my next video. And I will see you later. Bye!